Okay, let's try this again without Pennywise. Back in 1812, a powerful earthquake caused the Mississippi River to run backwards. And some folks are wondering, how likely is this to happen again? Just north of Mississippi, deep underground, is the New Madrid Fault Line. It's the most active fault line in the eastern United States. And scientists are a little torn as to what caused it. Some say it's an ancient geological feature called the Real Foot Rift that was left over from when the continents divided. Others say it's due to magma in the Earth's mantle that basically burned a hot spot in the Earth's crust. Others say it's due to erosion or downcutting caused by the Mississippi River, and still others say that it's caused by the weight of a glacier. But whatever caused the rift, it made itself very well known back in the early 1800s. And it was actually a series of stronger quakes, but the strongest one is the one that we talk about the most. The quake is estimated to have been an 8.6, considered the strongest or among the strongest earthquakes to ever hit the United States. And it caused something called a fluvial tsunami in the Mississippi River, causing the entire river to flow backwards for several hours. The fluvial tsunami caused whirlpools and waterfalls to form in the Mississippi River, sinking boats and their crews along with them. It also forced water backwards into valleys, creating new rivers and new lakes, such as the Real Foot Lake in Tennessee. Pockets of sulfur burst out of the ground, entire islands in the Mississippi River just disappeared permanently, and hundred-foot cracks and fissures opened up in the earth. And they weren't just felt here. The quakes were so strong that one of them woke up the president's wife, Dolly Madison, in Washington, D.C. One of the quakes caused church bells to ring in Boston and for buildings to collapse in Cincinnati. The good news was at the time, the area around the epicenter was sparsely populated, so only about a thousand people died in the quake. But today, there are millions upon millions of people living in that area. So if it were to happen again today, the damage would be exponentially higher. So it makes sense that people are wondering whether it would happen again. And they should be worried because there's more than a chance that it will. We've already had at least one major quake from the New Madrid fault line since that quake of 1812. This one struck in 1895 in Charleston, Missouri, and it caused four acres of ground to just sink, forming another lake. And that fault line is still active today. They register between 200 and 350 incidents a year. Now, geologists estimate the chance of another major quake hitting in the next 50 years from the New Madrid fault line to be around 10%. That's if it's a 7.5 or an 8. But the chance of a 6 or a 7 hitting us pushes those chances up as high as 46%. And beyond that, it's hard to know for sure because the New Madrid fault line is notoriously difficult to study. And part of what makes it difficult is the plate on which we sit. Unlike out west, ours is one giant cold hard slab. So that not only makes it more difficult to study, but it means when a quake does hit, the danger is much higher, the damage is much greater, and they feel it much further away. Still, experts agree that it's not a question of if, but a question of when the Earth will decide to strike again.